Would you like to stream to Facebook Live from your desktop with ease, including to your profile or even to a group? Well, there's now there's a new way of streaming to Facebook. My name's Krishna Day. You'll find me online at krishna.me. And here at the end of March 2017, I'm just sharing with you something that I came across today that actually is a new way of us going live. Now, previously, we've had to go to the Facebook Live API um, if we want to be able to use streaming software. But as of today, what's happened is we can now create a live stream. And to do that, you want to go to facebook.com forward slash live forward slash create. And you'll see this blue button that comes up. So I'm here on Firefox. And when I click this button here, it actually then gives me the opportunity to say go live from a page, a group event, or even my timeline. So if you've been using Facebook Live up to now and been doing so with software, for example, OBS, vMix, Wirecast, and other third-party tools, which is what you still need to do for this stream, you've actually had to do that from your page. But you can see here now, I can share it from my timeline. I can share it to a friend's timeline. I could share it in a group. I could share to an event and I could share to a page that I manage. So you still need to have third party tools um, and OBS is completely free. Um, Wirecast is a premium product. XSplit is a low cost product. And I personally use vMix. And so you'd be able to go over to Facebook and find some details in terms of help articles, in terms of how to stream um, using third party software and I'll put a link to that help page and there's also more help on Facebook. So the difference here now is the fact that we can go live from or to Facebook Live from your desktop, but now you can actually access it and being able to use third party tools, which means you can bring in multiple cameras, which means you can do things such as putting in lower thirds, transitions, bring in other images. You could also bring in video content as well. Obviously make sure that you've got the rights to share the content. If you've got questions about using Facebook Live, Come and join me for the live stream insiders. Every Sunday we stream all about the latest tools, technologies and tips, including case studies about using live video for communications. Or you can find me at krishna.me and you can message me there with your questions. Let me know if you're planning to use this platform here, facebook.com forward slash live forward slash create, which is where you can now go live from your desktop include into your profile. You don't have to go through to the API. You can do, but you don't have to go that way anymore. So worthwhile checking that out if you're into live video. I think it's going to be really interesting, particularly for those people who are running events or in fact are doing things like gaming. Watch out what you're going to see in your newsfeed and just be careful in terms of where you stream to. Make sure you've got permission in terms of particularly into the groups should you choose that. So remember, click on the create live stream and then choose where you want to stream to. But you will need to use a third party tool to be able to do so.